Welcome back to Go For Football with Jerry Kill. I'm Natalie Nias. The battle for the axe has always been a heated contest, but this year it is red hot. The Gophers and the Badgers are both 8-2 and two and sporting winning streaks in the Big Ten. To find out what to expect when the battle wages on Saturday, Mike Max is in the Hall of Fame room with head coach Jerry Kill. Thanks, Natalie. We looked at them in the film room. They look very good there. Wisconsin and what they try to do, is, you know, they are a Big Ten program that, uh, as we saw earlier, likes to run the football, and they do it with a couple of different running backs. I don't want to say is the nice part, but is the nice part that you know what they're going to do, you know what they're going to prepare for, what to prepare for, because they are who they are. Yeah, and they, and they don't care. I mean, and they don't a, care. And, and the good teams are that way, yep. to be honest with you. I mean, you go all the way back through uh, – Coach Alvarez and how he's built the program, what he does, they're still running the same style offenses that they did, and they just continue to recruit to it and do very well with it. And then uh, Coach has done, Coach Alvarez has done a great job of hiring coaches, and uh, he hires Coach, and uh, with his defensive philosophy, they, they've gone into the 50 Oki scheme that really fits what they do, and uh, they're very disciplined with it. So you put those two combinations together and you got a, a very good football team. And, and, and I, I would tell you, in my opinion, uh, right now, uh, they're the most underrated team in the country. And the second thing is, I think this is the best Wisconsin team we've played since I've been here. Yeah, and the first two were pretty good. Yes, they were. They were very good. They went to Rose Bowl. So, yeah. I mean, you know. Yeah, well, you've talked about, you've, you've got a history of Wisconsin going back to Northern Illinois because you played them and yeah. played them very competitively when you were there. Yeah, we, we did, and you know we we went up and played at Camp Randall, and, and you know we had our shots, and, yeah. and uh, but couldn't get over the edge. But uh, again, uh, it's just uh, uh, they, where they're at, and, and you know uh, again, coach has done a great job coming in there, and he's a very very uh, good coach. Built that Utah State program yep. up, and uh, you know Barry knew what he's doing when he's hiring him. He got somebody that's going to fit, you know what what they do at Wisconsin, and. Uh, you know, they got a system there, and it, it is what it is. And, and uh, Barry still, I mean, you know, they, they were smart. They hired Barry as the yeah, athletic like director. director and in charge he, of winning. And he knows football. And, and he knows football. And, yeah. and he knows who to get that's going to fit, uh, so to be the Wisconsin way. And uh, he's done that very well. And, uh, and then Coach has just done a heck of a job. I think he's come in there, and, and uh, they haven't missed a beat. And, and like I said, I think they've gotten better defensively. Well, and is it as simple as they're going to run the football and you've got to get them to third and long? It is the only, the big thing is, is it's just like anything. You load the box to stop the run, and then Amavaris beats us. Yeah, I mean, I, and he did against and Indiana, he, man. That's what he did against Indiana, and he's done it, uh, did it against us last year. He's done it against a lot of people, and uh, he's a very good football player. So you got to be careful, and, but at the same time, I mean, you can't, you know, you got to do everything you can to uh, make sure they, you know, those backs don't get going. And what makes their back special um, if they do break it, it's over. I mean, they, they've got, both of them got great speed. So I think we got to play like we did against Penn State. Just don't let, don't let them in the end zone. You know, we, we gave up some rushing yards, but we didn't give up those big, you know, big plays. And yep. we, you know, with the speed they got at tailback, and we've got to be able to, to make them earn it and, and, and make them have to work at it and keep them out of the end zone as much as we can. You started the season and everything was talking about dehydration when you played uh, UNLV because we had that, uh, yeah, was, that, that hot spell going there. Now at the end of the season, we're talking about it might be in the teens or 20 degrees uh, for Saturday's game against Wisconsin, I guess only in Minnesota. But tell me about that cold weather football. Well, I think, you know, I, I, you know I'm partial. I'm old fashioned guy. And uh, you got uh, you're playing here at the at uh, TCF Bank Stadium. Cold weather. Game don't start until 2:30. Tailgating, having a great time. Two football teams going at it. I mean, that's the way football's supposed to be. And uh, so I'm excited for our fans. I'm excited for our players. And it's a great challenge for us. But uh, we're looking forward to it. Do you talk much about weather with uh, players on a weekly basis when it's extreme at all, or not? We don't. You know what? I always learn something is that the less you talk about things, you can't control the better. I think yep. sometimes it's like somebody fumbling the ball, and you keep talking about them fumbling the ball, they fumble it more. You know. So I think sometimes the less said, just. You know, you're not going to control all those things. All you can do is just line up and go play. And that's kind of what our kids have been doing. We haven't, you know, talked so much about everything. We've talked about the stuff we can control, 
and that's the execution of how we play. And uh, hopefully we'll continue that. I expect that we will because our attitude and our kids have been very focused. Well, again, no matter what the weather is, it's going to be one fun crowd and one fun Saturday. I think this is what they had in mind when they built this stadium. Good luck on Saturday. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Jerry Kill and the Golden Gophers, 2.30 kickoff right here at TCF Bank Stadium against the Wisconsin Badgers. That will do it for this week's edition of Gopher Football with Jerry Kill. Be sure to check out gophersports.com all week long for updates on your Golden Gophers. For Mike Max and Coach Kill, I'm Natalie Nias. Thanks for joining us right here on Gopher Football with Jerry Kill.